Hi, I'm Jordan McLennan and welcome to another style update. After an awesome response from last month's topic, I wanted to talk about the value of selling uh, with a real estate agent over selling privately. If you're thinking about selling your home privately, the first things that come and cross your mind would be the convenience of organising uh, inspections around your timetable, the potential savings in the sales fees, and knowing exactly what's going on with each and every potential buyer that's happening. These are some really great points. So let me demonstrate the reasons why you should select an agent. First of all, how do you come to selecting or advertising the price on your property? Now I'm assuming that the first option would be Googling the sales results, which is a great idea. I'd do the same. You'll find some sales results there for you, but what I've noticed is that some of them are inaccurate, irrelevant and outdated on the platforms that the general public can access. Now for me, that leaves a question mark. How do you know that you haven't overpriced or underpriced your property? Now I as the agent am literally in the market 24 hours, seven days a week, constantly walking in and out of properties, researching, comparing, communicating with key market influencers, conducting auctions, extracting offers, the works. The market knowledge of knowing what your neighbor has done or what Joe around the corner has maybe done poorly can mean the difference in days on market and the overall sale price, maybe 10, 50 or even 100 grand. Now once you decide on your price, you whack a sign in out the front, put it on the internet and you receive your first phone inquiry. Really exciting news. Now what you do straight away is organise that inspection. What I like to do is qualify the buyer so that we know we're not wasting our time before we even book that appointment. Once the appointment has concluded with that buyer, I go through a series of detailed questions and determine what their motives are and use my sales skills to extract that offer. Knowing the right questions to ask at the right time could really be the difference in getting an offer or not. We put that into a competitive environment. Again, this could be the difference of 10, 50, even 100 grand of the overall sale price again. This will save you money, not only in the marketing costs, but knowing that you're targeting the right people, but getting the right people interested could be the difference in overall days on market again, and 10, 50, even 100 grand again in the sales price. Negotiation is a crucial part of the process. Everyone negotiates on a day-to-day -day basis, but have you had an experience of negotiating in a hard and aggressive environment? This can be a really sensitive topic because you have that emotion of this is your home, this is your family's home, and this is your people that are involved. I, as a third party, and having experience in these conversations and in these environments on a number of occasions, understand the tricks and games buyers can play at times. Sometimes they even try to pull things straight over your eyes while you're sitting in front of them. I not only fight for every last dollar for you and for that extra bid at auction, I also want to secure the absolute best terms for you. Now, on average, an agent charges anywhere between two and a half and 3% of the overall sale price. Now, on $500,000 property, we're talking about the difference of 10 to 15 grand. The overall value of knowing price knowing how to deal with buyers, knowing what buyer to target, and getting the absolute best price and terms for you far outweighs the total cost of an agent. Now, I really hope this helps you with your future decisions. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you this weekend in our marketplace.